All right, Conquest, you win. What are you going to do now? Oh, that depends. I could call the police, and believe me, your friend Reynolds would spill plenty. However, I intend to deal with you myself. That is kind of you. Not at all. Now, let's see what your real name is. Oh, careless, very careless. You shouldn't carry this in your pocket. You're obviously not a professional. Now, let's see. Hmm. Mr. Theodore Feather, address High Barn, Stoke Bramley, Essex. I will take the liberty of borrowing your keys, Mr. Feather. Feather? Haven't I heard about you in connection with something thoroughly respectable? Feather. Orchids. <laughs> You're the grove of the finest orchids in the country. That's it. Allow me to congratulate you. Yeah, orchids is lovely. Look here, Conquest. Every man has his price. I, I'll give you a thousand pounds to forget all about this. Chicken feed, Mr. Feather. No, wait. I'll make it five thousand. So help me, I'm touched. Nevertheless, nothing doing. Put him back into cold storage. Come on, Mr. Smith. Oh, Keep Feather locked up until I get back. Aren't you rather sticking your chin out going down there all alone? Oh, I don't know. I might stumble onto something. I wish you'd let me come with you. Some other time, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Yes? Mr. Shell speaking. Where the devil have you been, Feather? Oh, um, I had to go out. This is important. I will be with you in less than an hour. You will be in, and you will be alone. Hello? Hello?
term, I believe, is reach for the ceiling. Be careful with that thing. I've had one dose of it already. Oh, no, Mr. Conkle. This one has bullets in it. You make one step towards me and I'll shoot. Bullets? Mm-hmm. Then um, I'm not frightened. <laughs> Loaded, too. Dangerous little devil, aren't you? <laughs> myself that pleasure at our next meeting. <laughs> you hurt me. No gentleman does such things to a lady. Now that's over, I'd like to ask you a straight question. Just what is your game? I won't tell you. You hit me. You're my enemy. Oh. Well, that's as good a start as any. Let's uh, kiss and be friends. Hmm. Nicest ideas. Nobody has ever spanked me and kissed me like this before. Well, you asked for the spanking. And you asked for the kissing. I'm glad I did. I hope there are no strings attached. Strings? Oh, no. There aren't any strings attached. We sit together, yes? Why not? Thank you. This is very pleasant. Making ourselves comfortable in Mr. Feather's house, it'll pass the time until Mr. Shell arrives. Oh. So you know Mr. Shell? No, no, no. But uh, it's a funny name. Tell me, why did you get in the back of my car? Well, you are interested. I read many things about you in the newspapers. I like the way you snap fingers at the low. You are brave. I like that. I like it very much. I bet you do. You've done a little uh, finger snapping in the past 24 hours yourself. You know the police are anxious to get a hold of you, don't you? Mm. But I'm safe while I'm with you. <laughs> I'm not so sure. We'd better sit further apart. You're doing things to me which shouldn't be experienced by any respectable man. So you like me? Uh, now, now, to get back to business, what exactly... What are you after? Why can't we work together? I always hoped that I shouldn't have to return to my country. No, I do not go back. Em. Oh, you've chosen a pretty dangerous way of breaking loose. Murder's a serious crime. Murder? I didn't kill anybody. Oh, you mean Gregor. I only stunned him. A little bit. And then proceeded to make things very unpleasant for me. That was before I really knew you. All right, then. What was in that package you were supposed to hand over? Diamonds. Many, many diamonds. Ah, oh, diamonds. Where are they? <laughs> They're not in there. And tell me where they are. I haven't got them on me. But never mind. Help me, and they'll be half yours. Now we're getting somewhere. Not that I believe you when you say they're not on you. Oh, but they're not. Don't you really believe me? No. All right. Look, I haven't got them. I still don't believe you. All right, you should see for yourself. Hey, hey, you can't do that. Oh, but I can. We are alone. Okay, go ahead. I don't want to embarrass you. Pity. In England, men are so shy. Now, um, to get back to business, do all you people work for Mr. Shell? <laughs> Mr. Shell is. I thought you said you didn't know Mr. Shell. Oh, I tell a little lie. That is all. Oh, well, what's a fib between friends? All right. No more fibs. Now listen carefully. Mr. Shell, for a long time, has been sending diamonds and money into England. The diamonds I bring, they are trifles. 
has got more, much more. Look, he's a vile man. He's a war criminal. It cannot be dishonest to rob such a man. We go equal shares. Is that not good? Yes, except for one snag, a rather big snag. What is it? A pixie. What do you think she'll do when I tell her that you and I are partners? But if she loves you, doesn't she want you to be happy? Where glamorous blondes are concerned, I'm afraid uh, she's not very broad-minded. Uh. And uh, if I were in her shoes looking at you, my mind would be as narrow as the edge of a razor blade. I'm sorry it can't be done. Not even for a little while. No. I'm afraid not. Listen. Mr. Sheldon? Yes. Get your things. Quick, behind those curtains. Wait a minute. All right. Come in, Mr. Shell. You're expected. Conquest is the name. I understand the uh, War Crimes Commission would like to have a word with you. All that is forgotten now. So you came to collect, Herr Baron. Gregor's death panicked you into a move which you hadn't really planned. Now the police are after you, too, just in case you didn't know. They have no proof. Gregor was... You were saying something about Gregor. Do go on. It does not pay anyone to recognize me. Meaning me? Where is Mr. Feather? In my flat in Park Lane. He was making himself a nuisance. Are you uh, anxious to leave? For the moment, you have the advantage. Not this time, chum. I was half expecting reinforcements, Baron. Silly of you to look past me like that. And if you don't stay still, I'll tear your arm off. Take him out of the car. Time is short. Drive straight to the flat of this man. Or take him home. That is so, yeah. Yes? Yes? Who is that? I'm a good friend of Mr. Conquest. He's in danger. Uh, who are you, please? Are uh, you the blonde? Oh. Yes, I've heard about you. Oh, please, this is important. My Conquest's been hit on the head. Your Conquest? Oh, do listen. There is much hurry. They're bringing him home. And I'm sure that these men will try to force their way in. Yes, they want Mr. Feather. Yes. Uh, how is he being brought here? Uh, and his own car? Well, I hope you can drive well. It's practically jet propelled. Uh, yes. Now listen carefully. There's a side road at the corner of Conquest Court. Mm -hmm. 